Good evening and welcome to another edition of the Florida Hockey Now Panthers post game. I'm your host, George Richards. Joining me. David's the, work? What? I'm introducing myself. Uh, I was going to say from WPLG uh, Channel 10.com, whatever. What is it? Yeah, Local 10. Local10.com. David is here with me. Uh, Florida Panthers, nice win tonight. Uh, the Panthers are now 10 and 0 at home to start this season. Uh, that's a uh, mark that's tied for second all time in NHL history. They're going for the record of 11, which was set by the 1963-64 Chicago Blackhawks. Florida Panthers will try to win number 11 Wednesday night against the Philadelphia Flyers. That would tie the NHL's all-time great starts on home ice. Uh, David, tonight uh, things got a little uh, shaky out there. The Panthers were up big. Looked like they were going to take this one. Uh, Minnesota comes back late, but Florida prevails 5-4. Yeah, it was a great effort by the Panthers overall. I mean, you know, Minnesota was desperate at the end. They pulled their goaltender with over five minutes to go. Um, but overall, I mean, Florida played a great game. Their transition game was very strong, forcing a lot of turnovers from Minnesota. And, I mean, look, the skill was on display. When you put up five goals, I mean, you talk about 10-0-0 at home. They've scored four or more goals in every one of those games. It's pretty remarkable what they're pulling off here on home ice. David just stole that quote from Andrew Brunette, who said the skill was on display tonight because of Florida's first goal. If you haven't seen it, look it up. I'm not good enough right now when it comes to chopping up video. David, <laughs> maybe you'll help me later. But you got to go watch this Owen Tippett goal to make it one nothing yeah. uh, at 17.45 of the first period. Defenseman Aaron Ekblad doing his best. Jonathan Huberdeau <laughs> yeah. comes through, gets gets in front of, get, has has Dmitry Kulikov draping him, somehow gets the puck to Owen Tippett, who's trailing the play. Uh, Tip with a nice goal himself, walks in on the goalie, roofs it. But but the play by Internet Lad, absolutely spectacular. We see this every game, it seems, from the Florida Panthers. You don't expect it from a defenseman. That kind no. of stick work, that kind of puck handling, but my goodness, we see this every single game with these guys. No, it's awesome watching, like because you've got so many skilled defensemen on this team beyond Ekblad. You've got Forsling, you've got Montour, and they've got the green light to go anytime they want. So when you see Ekblad jump on that loose puck, try to split the D on his own, then have the wherewithal to drop the puck off to Owen Tippett after basically taking all the guys out of his way and just saying, here, have a red carpet to the goaltender, and then tip it with that beautiful forehand backhand move and got the game rolling. Red carpet, that's a hotel, right? <laughs> yeah, the red carpet in. Anywho, Frank Vetrano makes it a 2 nothing game with his first of two goals. Frank Vetrano scores at 8.23 of the second period. Florida Panthers up 2-0. Uh, uh, Minnesota scores on a power play. Frank Vetrano gets number two. Florida's up 3-1. to one. Um, Early in the third period, uh, Kirill Kaprizov. <laughs> He's so good. Minnesota sees that kind of stuff every night. He is so good. Uh, the uh, You can't call him defending or last year's rookie of the year. Um, 155 into the third period uh, makes it a 3-2 game. Carter Verhege, another terrific goal by him. Again, against Dmitry Kulikov, who... Uh, Cooley, man, that was not a not a great game by Cooley. But anyway, Verhege somehow gets in low, has... Yeah. Has Cooley right on top of him and somehow like short sticks it like he yeah. like he unbelievable. I don't know how you can have that kind of accuracy with a shot with a guy who weighs probably about two hundred pounds, literally draped on your back like a cape. Amazing effort by Carter Hagen. It was like a pitching wedge. Anyway, <laughs> uh, sand trap. Yeah. All right. So Florida holds a four-two lead, and then things get kind of nuts. Florida scores a goal in the final minute, but Minnesota scores two. In the final 46 seconds, three goals were scored. One, an empty netter by Sam Bennett. That pretty much put this thing away because Minnesota doesn't score goal number four till Zuccarello gets it with less than nine seconds. So the game's over. Uh, great game by Sergei Bobrovsky. Uh, the Panthers gave him uh, one of the three stars. I didn't, but, you know, that's just because of the four goals. But truthfully, that last minute, that's not on Bob. Honestly, it, it really isn't. Things were kind of getting a little shaky down there. He ends the night with uh, 34 saves, and, and, and he really kept the Florida Panthers in this game. I just felt like, you know, let's give something to, to Gus Forsling and Aaron Eckwide. They were terrific, too. So uh, check it all out. Uh, David, uh, where can folks find your work? Because I've never looked. No, it's good. Uh, you can find everything I write on Local10.com or the Local10 app. You can follow me on Twitter at David's Work for all my regular daily coverage. I've got the Chirping the Cats podcast, and I've also got uh, Odd Man Rush, 
coming up on Five Reasons Sports YouTube channel starting Monday, every Monday at two o'clock. So you can find me in a lot of places now. It's kind of scary. Anything else? TikTok? Uh, you can find me in about 30 minutes at the bar at the infield down the street. Okay, so shameless plug for the infield pub. Oakland Park Boulevard, it's not a bad place. Food um, the food is very good. Yeah, no, no kidding. Yeah, very good. Taco Tuesday. Anyway, um, thank you all for uh, for joining us here on the uh, Florida Hockey Now Panther post game. Don't forget, subscribe to the to, to the uh, YouTube channel. Pound we, the subscribe button. Subscribe, baby. Subscribe. Don't cost you nothing, and we can get some some really cool things going here. Uh, don't forget to visit FloridaHockeyNow.com. Three stories up Saturday alone. Nobody else is doing that kind of stuff. We're, we're putting in the effort. P please come check it out. We appreciate your support. We will see you uh, down the road, but the Florida Panthers are off. This is Saturday. They're off until Wednesday night. A little turkey dinner game uh, against the Philadelphia Flyers. The Keith Yandels are in town. We will see you then. For David Dork, I'm George Richards. Good night, everybody.